So around June of 2020, when I had just started learning to code myself, I happened to be working for this company called Deloitte as a consulting intern. And during this internship, I found out that the company actually hires a lot of programmers themselves, which was interesting to me because this was the role that I was actually interested in long term. So that is why during this internship, I actually managed to get on a call with a really experienced web developer. And this ended up being one of the most useful calls that I have ever been in on my life because he basically gave me just an exact roadmap to follow that in his opinion was the absolute fastest way for me to learn to code and get tired. Yes! So I thought that in this video, I want to share to you exactly what this path was. So hopefully this video can be for you exactly like what that call was for me, like this revelation moment that made me realize that I can do this. Other people have done this. And I'll even reveal to you the one massive mistake that he told me that beginner programmers that speak to him make all the time. And that to be honest, I fully agree with him is the one mistake that stops most people from ever learning the code and getting hired. What was interesting to me about this call is that what he recommended essentially was to focus specifically on front end development. And I'll talk in a moment about exactly why that was. But the one thing about this path that was difficult for me was that I didn't have one specific resource to follow, just follow these exact steps. So that is why to make this even easier for you, I have partnered up with Coursera for this video to talk about the Meta Front End Developer Professional Certificate, which is essentially the closest thing that I have found to essentially be a one resource for you to simply go through all of these steps, master front end development and even get hired at the end of it. It's taught by Meta staff, you get a certificate at the end of it and the instruction is really excellent and it teaches you everything that you need to know to master front end development and get hired as fast as possible. So you can either just take these steps and follow them on your own, which is fine, or you can simply go and take this professional certificate and just have everything laid out to you in one place. But before we go into step one, why exactly is front-end development the one thing that that developer recommended to you and that I recommend for a lot of people, again, like depending on your goals? Well, basically, if you're not aware, the web has the front-end and it has the back-end. The back-end, you have a lot of server-side code. So things like authentication, like storing stuff on a database and all this like complicated sort of behind the scenes kind of logic, that is the back-end. And then we have the front-end, which is basically everything that you see on a website, how it looks, how it's organized, when you click buttons and what happen. And the reason why I and this experienced developer that I spoke to recommend front end specifically is that because for self taught developers like myself, and I'm assuming you to get hired, you really kind of have to have portfolio projects on your resume. And it's really difficult to have projects that only have a back end, but no front end. But it's really easy to have a lot of projects that only have a front end, like just basically a website, but no back end. Like you don't need complicated back end logic necessarily. So the easiest way to get started with building a lot of projects is just to master the front end and focus on that first. And if you take the meta front end professional certificate, the introduction section will go into a lot more detail on all of these. What a day in the life of a front end versus a back end developer looks like all these details for you to really have a foundation on the web. And this actually brings us to our step one of mastering front end development. What this guy told me is that before you do anything, you just want to understand at a high level how the web works. What is the front end? What is the back end? How do they communicate with each other? How can you hook them up with each other? You really want to have a high level understanding of all of these details before you move forward. And that will be step one. And you take the professional certificate. Again, they will go through all of this in the instruction section. And after you've done that, you want to start actually coding, right? So where do we start? Well, actually the entire web uses these things called frameworks. These are super, super important, but like for now, we'll just put a pin on that. And in a little bit, I'll come back to frameworks and why we're sort of postponing learning them. In the beginning, you just want to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML basically deals with how the website is constructed. CSS deals with how the website looks. And then we have a JavaScript, which is a programming language that you can use to make the website a bit more dynamic. So when you think about having like pop-ups on a website, think about what happens when you click a button, like adding different sections to the website dynamically and programmatically, this is what you do with JavaScript. And inside of the Meta Frontend Developer Professional Certificate, one of the first courses you do will give you exactly that. And you wanna just focus on this in the beginning. Once you've done that, you wanna actually ignore HTML and CSS for a little bit and just get a really good grip on JavaScript specifically. Why JavaScript, you ask? Well, basically the entire front end of the web is built using JavaScript. So if you're learning front end development, your choice is kind of easy. You just don't really have a choice at all. You have to learn JavaScript, whether you like it or not. At this stage, you wanna make sure you master the three building blocks of programming, which are functions, variables, data types, program flow, 
and conditional. You can do this inside of the Meta Frontend Professional Certificate. They have a full course on JavaScript programming inside of it with exercises, interactive tutorials, and whether you take that course or something else, you wanna make sure that you really pay attention and really take your time with getting comfortable with the foundations of JavaScript, writing basic programs, building out basic JavaScript projects, because again, everything else builds on top of these foundations. If you try to rush forward, you're really going to hurt yourself down the line. After you've done that, so your next step, it's time to start understanding how software actually works. What does it actually mean to be a software developer? Some important concepts here include version control. What is the difference between Git and GitHub? Why do we use these kind of tools in general? How do you use the command line? How code revisions work? How do we review code? What is good code? What is bad code? So if you are serious and you actually want to become a professional, these are tools and these are concepts that you will simply have to know. But unfortunately, most people ignore them. And once again, inside of the Meta Frontend Developer Professional Certificate, there is a full mini course on exactly this to make sure that you have these foundations and you understand this concept going into your career as a software developer. Okay, so after that, we can start to go a bit deeper. The way the front end is actually constructed in the modern age. What you learned is something called plain JavaScript, plain HTML and plain CSS. But you may or may not be aware is that in the modern age, no one really writes these plain JavaScript, like plain HTML, CSS websites, because with the modern world and with the modern websites that we want to build and all the requirements we have for them, developers have noticed that using simply plain HTML, CSS and JavaScript can become quite cumbersome and quite annoying to try to do all of these things. So that is why in the modern world and what I learned on my call with this experienced developer back in the day is that if you just learn these things, it's really going to be tough to get your foot in the door as an actual front end developer. But what you want to learn is something called a framework to make really dynamic websites and to make the development process easier and allows to write more complex websites. And the most common front end framework is something called React. React is essentially like JavaScript and HTML combined into like one thing. They have this special language that they use, which is basically just JavaScript expanded with a lot of new things and slightly different syntax. So you need to really understand HTML, CSS and JavaScript in order to understand React. But once you do, you want to move over to always just using a framework, because like I said, this is actually what's used in the industry. And once again, the Meta Professional Certificate will teach you React after these things that you've learned before. So I recommend learning the basics of it. React is sort of like building a website using these Lego blocks and it'll make sense why to get into it, but I would recommend building a couple of basic projects, just to get a handle of how React functions, how it works. And after that, you can move on to step five, which is, in my opinion, probably the most important one out of all of these. But sadly, it's the one that most people just skip. You can probably relate to me that a lot of the time you have learned things, but you haven't like properly learned. It. You've learned something, but then you've essentially forgotten about it like two weeks later. The reason why this happens is because you don't put things into practice. You can either find a project on your own that you're excited about, which is what that developer recommended to me. Or if you're going through a course like the Meta Frontend Professional Certificate, they will usually have a capstone like this one does that essentially puts everything together and just allows you to follow along and build this big project at the end of which, which is number one, going to allow you to have a portfolio project already that you can put on your resume and actually get interviews. And it's going to make you a much, much better developer because at this stage, you are essentially a software developer. You are building a real front-end project using all of these steps that we have learned before. Now, after all of these steps, at this point, you should be reasonably confident with your abilities in front-end development, with JavaScript, HTML, CSS, React, and you should have great portfolio projects under your belt that you can put inside of your resume and get noticed by recruiters, which will eventually lead to interviews. But before you can pass the interview, you do have to prepare for that. If you fail to plan for them, you plan to fail. So you want to make sure that you dedicate time specifically for interview preparation. I know it can suck. I know it's not fun to prepare for interviews, but it's necessary. And I'm not just talking about coding interviews. You want to make sure that you craft your story. You want to make sure that you know exactly why you want to work for the company that you're applying for. You want to prepare for the technical part, but also prepare to show your potential, to show your passion, to show your interest for programming at the interviews. Because at the end of the day, these are the kinds of people that every company wants to hire. And even if you suck at the coding part, but you're a really amazing guy, 
guy and the interviewer really connects with you, they might still give you a chance. But that's not to say that the coding part is not important. And the Meta Professional Certificate concludes with a full section, a full mini course on specifically learning to solve coding problems and preparing for those pesky coding interviews. So you want to make sure that you, again, pay special attention and really take your time to get good at the interviews. Because if you can get to the point where you're really comfortable with interviews, I can tell you from experience that it's an amazing feeling to be able to walk into any interview with confidence and knowing that you are good enough. But throughout all of these steps, there's one massive problem that is probably the biggest reason why people still end up failing even though they do all of these things. And that is that they simply choose to give up way too soon. Like guys, trying to learn to code, getting hired as a developer, it's not an easy process. I did it in like four months, but there was a lot of luck involved with that. I had an internship at a previous company and then I ended up getting hired at the same company. I had the chat with a developer that was able to really help me. Again, I hope that this video right now has sort of been that eye-opening moment for you that makes you believe that you can do it too, but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be easy. It requires a lot of effort, a lot of persistence, and I can tell you from experience, having helped people do the same thing, the people who choose to keep trying, that choose to not give up on themselves are always the people who succeed. It's the people who just cannot believe in their own abilities to do something that end up giving up. And if you give up, well, no surprise, you won't get there. When it comes to getting a job as a software developer, you sort of just have to decide that no matter what, I will do this. Like, I will not give up. I don't care how long it takes me, but I really, really want this and I will keep going no matter what. That's the mentality that you need to have if you want to actually do this. It's not an easy thing to do, but if you do this and you follow these steps and you just keep going no matter how hard it is, I know you can get there because I've seen so many people do it before. Again, if you're interested in learning front-end development and you want just one resource that you can just follow on the website, you can go and check out the Meta Frontend Professional Certificate. Again, taught by Meta staff, it gives you a certificate. You can go and check it out down below in the description. Thank you for Coursera for sponsoring this video. And I've actually even used Coursera to come up with a full computer science degree that I've essentially designed for me. If you sign up to my newsletter, you can get a full Notion template with this online computer science degree that I am following myself personally. And I also made a full video where I detail exactly how I did that. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you watch this video right now where I go through everything and how you can do something like this yourself. I will see you there in a second.